It is about as cold and windy as you can get today, but I'm still gonna get out and make this damper. I'm all rugged up. And uh, once we get a fire going, we'll be right. get some hot coals going with this fire before we get the damper started. So I'm going to let all that burn down. I'm going to keep throwing some uh, some logs on here until we've got a nice bed of hot coals. All right, so what we have here are our everything we need to make our traditional damper. Uh, we have our water. We have some self-raising flour, which you can make yourself. We've got some salt, some milk powder, and of course, some Canadian maple syrup to finish it off. Uh, we're going to cook it up in our camp oven and that's our big stainless steel mixing bowl but we need to let that fire get down to uh, hot coals before we, uh, we get cooking. So let's mix up the damper and get it ready. So what you want to do is you just want to bust him open. Now traditional damper is always done with the hands. You can bring a wooden spoon if you want but uh, give your hands a good clean first. So what you're going to do is bust open your kilo bag of self-raising flour and take out about two handfuls and just uh, just shove them over there on your shamag or something that you've got handy. Making damper is, uh, is not supposed to be a neat and clean process and it adds to the character. So you want about that much. If this, would be, this would be enough to feed four or five people. You want about that much self-raising flour. And then what you want to do is you want to add some milk powder. That much milk powder. It's pretty easy making damper. If you measure anything, you're doing it the, uh, the wussy's way. You want to get your salt, and you want about that much salt. Chuck him in. And then what we want to do is mix all the dry ingredients together before we start adding any water. So. And then we'll create a little volcano in the middle. And you want to add your water water here some water really really slowly you don't want to add too much at a time you're going for the consistency of um, play-doh but you don't want it sticky so we're going to just start pushing that back into the center that's going to keep your hands a lot cleaner now with damper we don't um, we don't want to need the damper we just really want to keep the air in it if you need damper you're going to end up with something that's as hard as a rock and you don't want that so you want to keep it nice and fluffy all right that's actually pretty good just do a touch of flour on the outside all right so once you've got that play-doh sort of consistency you want to start constructing it into a ball, but you don't want to mash it too hard. Just a nice ball. And what we're doing as we do that, as we push it into that ball shape, we're taking our hand and we're folding the edges under itself. And that's gonna give a really nice formation to the damper at the end. And I wanna stick this flour on the bottom of the camp oven. Now that sounds a bit strange, I know. It's gonna do two things. It's gonna stop the uh, damper from sticking to the bottom. And it's also gonna be an indicator for when our damp oven is preheated and ready for the damper. Can you see how that flour is starting to go all brown? That means it's ready for our damper. It'll even be brown in the middle by the time I get the, um, I get the damper finished. So come back to the damper. We'll give him the last few little smushes in and a few rolls and then what we'll do is we'll just cut an X or a T through the middle and what that's going to do is it's going to allow it to cook 
through much more thoroughly into, into the thickest part. It's also going to open up the damper really nicely in that camp oven. So I go about halfway through just with my camp knife and then that's ready to go in the camp oven. There we go, he's in and ready to cook. So we'll give it about 20 minutes and then we'll come back and check. You really want to check your damper regularly because you don't know what temperature your fire is. So checking your damper regularly is the key to getting it perfect. All right, so I've just finished eating up a good portion of that damper. Thanks so much for watch watching. Unfortunately, I had some major microphone issues this video, so I hope you didn't mind that there wasn't much speaking in it.